Dr. Ronnie Oguniwardeen, pictured, Dr. Ronnie Oguniwardeen is the clinical director of mental health at the Hornsby Hospital and Mossman Private Hospital, who has seen the destructive path wrought by people diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. Those with the disorder often have inflated views of their importance and superiority, but their key trait is a lack of empathy. While narcissists may appear successful on the outside, they often have damaging relationships with their partners, children, and workmates. And people online don't we all know? A question put to the above clinical psychiatrist on a TV panel discussion. What's the worst thing that can happen to a narcissist? His answer, the worst thing is for them to see themselves, while being totally disarmed of all their delusional defenses, and, from that heightened, and lofty state, if that happens, they will crash to a depressive position. We see that in therapy sometimes, the failed narcissist, for some narcissists it's very hard to sustain that whole thing, but for others it just comes naturally, but if you strip all that down, it's like pricking a balloon. It's gone. Dr. Travis Kemp psychologist butts into ad. In some ways it's like having their biggest fears realized that they are basically just normal and average, and this being made true to them, is their worst nightmare. Dr. Ronnie Oguniwardine then makes a telling addition. That narcissist's real truth is that they see themselves as a sniveling lowlife, and they have defended against thinking that, that's what they are avoiding looking at, they don't just think they are a normal person, deep down, they think they are almost nothing. Observers of the online pseudo-skeptic phenomenon have long noted the preponderance of narcissism. Numerous times it's noted, skeptics start conversations online, notably devoid of subject content, consisting entirely of superior venomous sneering and snarling toward anyone they can hold in conversation. It's a daily lifestyle practice for many skeptics. Carried on for decades it seems. So now we have a clue from Dr. Ronnie Oguniwardine as to what personality characteristic triggers the development of a skeptic. Low self-esteem. Emilio, echoing many other skeptics, talked about feeling contempt for himself for being gulled by the Santa story. Could not forgive himself. Wanted to punish himself, and did with tears of anger, toward himself. And later the perceived disgrace of feeling gulled by Christianity, simply repeated the process. The key feature seems to be very low self-esteem, self-image, low self-worth, feelings of inferiority. Basically deep down the skeptic feels he is a schmuck, and goes online sneering at everyone for being gullible like he was, and believing anything. Gullible as the skeptics catch cry. It's the punishment they inflict on themselves, and hurl at everyone else on the net. If you go in wiki, and look up self-harm, you will see it's quite common, and has been studied. It occurs when angry people are frustrated, and feel powerless, such, as in prison, skeptics mistakenly feel deeply aggrieved, having to live with themselves as virtual prisoners. Skeptics because they believe they are lowlifes, punish themselves for decades, rather than forgiving and forgetting. And doing self-harm, goes hand in hand, with doing harm to others, with verbal violence over the net key phrase here from the psychiatrist explaining why skeptics believe everyone else is the same as them. Their key trait is a lack of empathy, insisting everyone else is deluded, like they were. It's total self-absorption, and false. That other people could be, quite different, a lot more empathic, and more grown up, more forgiving toward self, just doesn't occur to them. This bears repeating. That narcissist's real truth is that they see themselves as a sniveling lowlife, and they have defended against thinking that, that's what they are avoiding looking at, they don't just think they are a normal person, deep down, they think they are almost nothing. And online pseudo-skeptics seem to be products of this mindset, when it meets Santa. A propensity toward self-loathing is the key ingredient, and the cruel unforgiveness goes on for decades into adult life. We see this self-harm all over the net. Hey guys, suddenly you don't look so bad after all. Please, stop beating yourselves up and give us a break, too, on the net. You are nowhere near as ugly as you think. One is reminded of the ugly duckling story 